Good morning. It's Thursday, and it's time for our daily devotion. Today's passage uh, is Philippians chapter 3, ver- uh, verses 4 through 16, really the second part of verse 4, because that's the beginning of the next section. Uh, it's an interesting uh, passage. I, as I, as I, I don't know if this is right or not, like, I know people who uh, seem to always talk about something. Like, I know a guy who, uh, when he talks about people, it's almost always in relationship to their, well, especially kids, in relationship to their uh, sporting abilities. Uh, I, I seem to be fascinated with how old people are. I have no idea why. I don't use it as a point of judgment. It's, I, I just think it's interesting. Uh, and Paul, here's why I mention that. Paul, I, in this passage, like, I feel like Paul likes to talk about how, uh, where people come from, who they are, their background, their status, uh, and where they brag or what they boast about. Uh, it seems like Paul talks about boasting a fair amount in the New Testament. I don't, I don't know what that has to do with anything, but it, as I enter this text, this is one of those texts where it seems at play, and there seems to be a reason. Uh, and Well, anyway, that's enough meandering for me. Philippians 3, uh, 4-16. If anyone else has reason to put their confidence in physical advantages, I have even more. Here we go. I was circumcised on the eighth day. I am from the people of Israel and the tribe of Benjamin. I am a Hebrew of Hebrews with respect to observing the law. I'm a Pharisee with respect to devotion to the faith. I harassed the church with respect to righteousness under the law. I'm blameless. These things were my assets, but I wrote them off as a loss for the sake of Christ. But even beyond that, I consider everything a loss in comparison with the superior value of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. I have lost everything for him, but what I lost I think of as sewer trash. Uh, actually, the Greek word is a little more potent than that, but that works. So that I might gain Christ and be found in him. And in Christ I have a righteousness that is not my own and that does not come from the law, but rather from the faithfulness of Christ. It is the righteousness of God that is based on faith. The righteousness that I have comes from knowing Christ, the power of his resurrection, and the participation in his sufferings. It includes being conformed to his death so that I may perhaps reach the goal of the resurrection of the dead. It's not that I've already reached this goal or have already been perfected, but I pursue it so that I may grab hold of it because Christ grabbed hold of me for just this purpose. Brothers and sisters, I myself don't think I've reached it, but I do this one thing. I forget about the things behind me and reach out for the things ahead of me. Whoa, that sounds like that Isaiah 43 passage. Uh, If you were following the devotions this week, if not, go back to Monday and check it out. Uh, The goal I pursue is the prize of God's upward call in Christ Jesus. So all of us who are spiritually mature should think this way. And if anyone thinks differently, God will reveal it to him or her. Only let's live in a way that is consistent with whatever level we have reached. As I get to the end of this passage, I I feel like I should put a heading in the in the devotion as it's sent out. This is the the ADHD ver, version of my of my devotions. I've kind of bounced off all over the place, right? I, and the song today uh, musically kind of does that. The meter is not consistent; it changes up and back, and feels like it jerks around sometimes. Uh, that endears it to me. I think it's an I think it's an interesting s- setting of the text. Uh, the text is old uh, and familiar. Open, Lord, my inward ear. This song is found in five forty eight voices together. Open, Lord, my inward ear, and bid my heart rejoice. Bid my quiet spirit hear thy comfortable voice. Never in the whirlwind found, or where earthquakes rock the place. Still and silent is the sound, the whisper of thy grace. 
From the world of sin and noise and hurry I withdraw. For the small and inward voice I wait with humble awe. Silent am I now and still, dare not in thy presence move. To, to my waiting soul reveal the secret of thy love. I think I missed a note in there. Thou hast undertook for me, for me to death wast sold. Wisdom in a mystery of bleeding love unfold. Teach the lesson of the cross, let me die with thee to reign. Thou things let me count but loss, so I may thee regain. Lord, my time is in thy hand, my soul to thee convert. Thou canst make me understand, though I am slow of heart. Thine in whom I love and move, thine the work, the praise is thine. Thou art wisdom, power, and love, and all thou art is mine.